namatay yung firstborn ko exactly 111 days nung nag-impose na quarantine sa Metro Manila. Y- yun yung ano eh, yun yung mahirap nung nagkaroon ng pandemic. Naghihikahos kami, hindi namin alam where to to go. Mihinga ako ng mga referral, saan ba kami pwedeng pumunta na hindi naman maput at risk yung anak ko. One day, tinawag niya kami. That's when he told us na, Daddy, hindi ko na kaya eh. So sabi ko sa kanya, siguro parang ano lang yan, paggising mo bukas, parang ano ka na sa, kumbaga sa place na pinakahihintay nating lahat. Alam mo nang nakita ko sa mata niya nun, pagkatapos nun, na excited. I can tell na he was excited to go. A few hours after my son died, immediately, well, cremate ka agad siya. So, ni wala nang chance magkaroon ng konting viewing, eulogy. No? Kahit ganun ka hirap yung yung mga nangyari, no? We find peace knowing na si Richard is in in a better place, in good hands, no? The first thing I had to ask him nung time na yun, Confident ka ba? Yun yung words ko sa kanya. Confident ka naman ba? You know what I'm talking about? Tapos tinignan niya ako. Sabi niya, Daddy, yes. I, I know where I'm going. Yun yung... Saying it is something, but believing it is another thing. You know, that's the thing that will get you through this. If you're going through something like this at wala ka pang peace sa puso mo, ang masasabi ko lang talaga is you, you need to have that relationship with the Lord. And once you have that relationship with the Lord, you can share that relationship with your loved one. And eventually, God will make His move. And then you will have peace. Kasi you will realize na yung ending nito will be better than we expect it to be.